Try. To say author of the year goes to one person, I think, is just an understatement and, and, and not fair because there's so many incredible authors locally, globally. But to pick one, there's a lot that goes behind that. But tonight we are going to acknowledge uh, our award recipient, Nate A. Munini. Congratulations, Nate. Would you like to say a few words about your work? Thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Bacola, for the honor to receive such a great award. And I also thank my mom and my dad and my sister for being there for me through struggles when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just been an honor. Um, thank you for just everything. Thank you. And, yeah, why I wrote the book was just because I had um, like severe battle with seizures and I had 22 brain surgeries. Wow. Yeah, and so I had a lot going on. So that's when I knew um, God was with me. So I just kept going. And that's why I'm glad my mom and my dad and sister are here with me always and that they're always by my side. You can get my book either in Barnes and Noble or on Amazon or we have a website called City Heart Cry Ministries or Heart Cry Organization and you can go there too. Nate, what a round of applause. What an so his book documents his inspiring story, and obviously you can see that bravery is a huge part of that. So we have to empower our youth, but also if you can't text a certain line, imagine writing a whole book. I mean, thank goodness for autocorrect on this thing that doesn't work half the time, but I've worked with authors for, for a number of years, but the youth authors, man. To go back to my young years to write a book. So that is a very well-deserved award for you, young man. And we're going to continue with our Community Service Award, which goes to Becky Booker. So Becky has contributed exceptional work in the community through her volunteerism, and she was here bright and early helping us with this very event. Thank you so much, Becky. Would you like to share some words about what inspires the work that you do? I'm putting everyone on the spot. You are. <laughs> I'm very humbled to be in this audience. I work for the fire department, and in my service of the fire department, I'm in people's homes, and I started to see the community change, and I didn't see needs being taken care of, and it just made me want to dig in, and for that, I got all the beauty of meeting these people and meeting this person who I love dearly. So thank you very much. So those are just the four awards that we are going to start this movement and platform with. Uh, hopefully we'll do more awards and more events in the future. And if I didn't get kicked out of this event, hopefully I'll be back for the next one. <laughs> because you guys, I just want to be friends with all these immaculate people in this room. And so many that haven't been on the screen or up here. I'm sure everybody has a fantastic story. And I just love to listen to stories. Because whether they're documented on a screen or in a book or on social media, everyone has one. So I get emotional. We're just going to stop there because you're wearing a bright yellow dress and you've got to be cheery. So 
at this point in the night, we're, we're going to move on to the next part. And this is just to ask for your help on a monetary standpoint. This is not going to be the same as offering in, in church service. But I am going to ask for your generosity a little bit more. This is an intimate night. So if you can imagine, ticket sales from tonight can only go so far. But what's very exciting is that we are splitting proceeds from our ticket sales to two nonprofits this evening. So if you would like to help this event reach further audiences but also help support the celebration of these authors in this magazine and the production which Bukola knows is not cheap to produce and keep it going we are taking donations tonight so is Annette Bradner here tonight Thank you. she is going to accept your cash or credit card donations they go to the cause <laughs> And, uh, and so you can see her after if there's even, you know, $5 goes a long way. The, the most humbling thing that I've, of the many things I learned this year, especially with the pageant journey, it was about $6,000 just to go to the state, the state pageant for me. And the, the scariest thing for me was asking for any money. And I'd successfully say that, I, that everything was funded. So, so asking for the power of help can go a long way, but those $5 donations that I got, they did not go unnoticed. So I think Bukola and the team tonight will, will say that even $5 will go a long way. So with that sponsorship, you do get an ad placement in the magazine. So we don't just take your money, we actually want to promote you. We're a community initiative. We want to make sure that your work, your brand, your product, your platform is also being seen and acknowledged. So buy ad space and we'll help, you, um, we'll help each other out. So what are these nonprofits that I just mentioned twice now here earlier? So tonight we are splitting our ticket proceeds with PPGJ, that's a lot of letters, and TES. So let me just talk a little bit about these nonprofits. So PPGJ, which is Planting People Growing Justice, is a St. Paul-based nonprofit. Go St. Paul. Planting People Growing Justice Leadership Institute seeks to plant seeds of social change through education, training, and community outreach. So we are splitting 25% with that organization and another 25% with TES, which is the Eniton story. The Eniton Story, TES, is a nonprofit here at, up in Anoka County with a mission to advocate for victims and empower survivors of human trafficking and domestic violence. It's led by a survivor and it uses the survivor informed approach to provide services to victims and survivors in the state of Minnesota and beyond. So, thank you so much for providing uh, a space for us to host this event because your ticket sales are going to go to both of these. Uh, platform. So round of applause to yourselves and to the work that these organizations are doing. It was actually a pretty sweet, so short and simple night. We don't have a whole lot left. We, we are going to conclude with Bukola saying a few more words, but I do want to thank our sponsors once again. I skipped out on thanking Sterling Trophy earlier, but there's a list on the back and I want you guys to make sure that you just take a moment. And I know the party is not over, my friends, here. Uh, and sometimes people just say, what is a sponsor and what do they do? Um, let me give you just a little bit of uh, description on that. A sponsor could be social support. It could be word of mouth. It could be just sharing that we support a cause and a platform. It could be monetary support. Here's, your, here's my money to your cause. I believe it. Go ahead and fund the snacks and the programming and, and everything to rent the space and get people here. Um, and, and it can be in just sharing too, or donations of products, sometimes balloons or the red carpet or banners. So sponsors really go a long way. If you have a, if you have a product or a business that you would like to provide sponsorship with, I think you can chat with Bukola in the near future to make that happen. And I think we're here at the conclusion. Is there anything else I can squeeze in? That should do it. She's like, no, lady, your, your time is up. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I have a big, bright pink logo at the bottom of the back page. My last name is Champion, so my, you could just look me up. I'm going to be champion. If there's anything I can help you with um, as a member of our community, I, I strive for diversity and inclusion any way I can. I love supporting our authors and arts and entertainment industry. But without further ado, I'd like to hand it back to our lovely lady of the hour, 
And you can find out more about her initiatives at bucolaoriola.com. But please welcome back to the stage here, Ms. Bucola, to wrap up the evening. Thank you so much. <laughs>